Well, in our prior video, uh, we talked about that we felt we were a little bit in the overextended point um, with the Dow, and I was a little concerned, as I said, we were trying to see this gasp a little higher and break this prior range, and I felt that we were just overextended, and we're going to see probably a move back into the 17800, um, but, and we saw that today. Um, well, not all the way into the 17800, of course, but uh, 17868. Uh, so pretty close though um, we really see it come into the midline that's why we're really seeing the support come in keep in mind that is uh, has some significance there um, and so this is why we're seeing it kind of hold that range but overall uh, and, and I just think on the short term it's going to try to bounce a little bit but I still think we could see some further action that may come uh, a little deeper watch that th this could just be you know a little bit of a retracement range uh, that is possible too uh, but a good break of that 17800 and I think we'd start to see a move towards 17200 and start to see the slide a little earlier then maybe we see this try to gas back up and then top out maybe near uh, the August scenario that we were talking about before we're starting to see a little bit of the crack in the in the movement here uh, which makes kind of sense as this is trying to kind of come back and it's been struggling and as we've been talking about for quite some time it's been running sideways not really moving much uh, been a very very difficult market because it's not really trending um, very very much and for very long so uh, and I just think we're really seeing a grinding out of a lot of positions uh, so uh, we did talk about this starting a week and so watch for this to try to come back down into this level uh, that would make some sense to me um, and until we break this 18 250 level I'm still you know on the short side or at least uh, thinking that the market has a ability to top out here